Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to have a, uh, this is a 1950 Chevrolet truck, which I swapped out an engine from a 2000 Silverado, and it's, uh, it's a 5.3. Um, just going to do an overview of uh, what all I did to it, and if, uh, if you would like to uh, ask any questions or comment, um, you can. And I'll try to answer the questions if I can. But, so we swapped the engine out of a uh, 2000 Silverado. It's the 5.3. We took out the um, the whole wiring harness. Uh, we removed, and uh, we didn't cut any wires, or I didn't cut any wires. Um, at least under the hood, I did from uh, the body because I took the whole entire harness and it's a complete harness and just adapt it to the truck so this is uh goes through the firewall um into the inside and we'll look at that in a little bit but i use or try i'm trying to use everything or a lot of things from the uh the 2000 silverado um the booster um that's the that's the um the power booster from the silverado the reservoir um, just a whole lot of things, you know. We even, when I say we, is is myself and the uh, the owner of the truck. I'm doing this for somebody else, so I'm just following his orders and his suggestions. So we wanted to use everything from that truck because he bought the whole truck, and you know, to uh, not have to buy any more parts if he didn't need to. So we use everything: the accumulator for the AC, um, the factory AC compressor which is down underneath, it's on the bottom. You can't see it from here, but all that stuff should work. And they've already tried the heat. We have the heater hoses uh, hooked up and they go to the regular inlet and outlet down there uh, at the water pump um, into the firewall. And all this is loosely done. I had to make some uh, little covers and whatever. And I had to cut out this access to get to the uh, to have access to the uh, the HVAC unit that's on the inside of the truck, we're using that from the Silverado also. So it's still a lot of you know loose end stuff we have to you know trim. And once I put all this back, and you'll see in the later videos that I'm just gonna take seam sealer and just kind of smear it, uh, just like they do in the newer cars. So I mean it's not a real like high end build, but I mean the guy is spending you know decent money, so you know. But we're not going to have it looking like a super high-end, you know, vehicle. It's just going, you know, it's just a driver, you know. So this is the uh, cruise control. We're going to use it, and I'll adapt. I uh, uh, have to put some switches on the inside of the truck. I'm not going to use the, because uh, the cruise control was on the, I think it's on the signal switch, and the headlights were on the signal. No, wrong. Headlights were not on the signal switch, but this, I think the cruise control was on the signal switch. So we're not going to do it that way. And it's hooked up and it's a throttle by cable. It's not a throttle by wire. So it's, these are the actual cables for the throttle. And uh, that, yeah, that's the cruise control. So we'll be able to use that. Um, like I was showing you earlier, we took out the fuse box. I haven't really put this stuff and made brackets for it just yet. I did make a bracket for the computer. It's pretty tight in here and you can't see it, but I made a bracket which I welded it, spot welded it to the uh, to the inner fender. And so that's how that's gonna work. So I'll show you the inside, but let's see if we can uh, get it started up. parked outside you can see on the inside a little bit better it's a little bit more light so I'll show you what we're working on on the inside of the truck so what we did on the inside of the truck is basically and I know it's a lot of wires in the way and stuff I haven't tucked those in yet or tied them tied them up yet but that's the brake booster bracket and everything coming from the Silverado truck. 
And so these pedals, see, that's the advantage of taking the whole wiring harness because this, you know, everything plugs right up. If you're going to use parts from the donor truck, everything plugs right up. You can see the pedal is from the Silverado, the accelerator pedal uh, and brake pedal from the Silverado. And basically the whole harness is from the Silverado. Um, you just have to be sure to connect all your grounds up like they should be connected up. I left the battery in the spot where it was. Uh, and it's hooked to a jump box because the battery, it's a dead battery, has a dead cell. So that's the HVAC unit from the Silverado truck. I had to trim right here under the dash a little bit, the sheet metal, to get it to fit up in there. But it looks bulky, but it's not really bulky. That's looking at it from below. You look at it from above, and you have plenty of leg room. Um, you know, pretty much no worse than the units that you buy to go into older cars from like vintage air or whatever. It's a little bit larger, you know. Um, but we're using it from the donor truck, so that's uh, it's gonna have to work. And so long as there's enough leg room, we're okay. The, the uh, donor of the truck, he's okay with it also. Normally, I don't like to use modern parts in the older vehicle if you do i like to hide them behind the glove box you know uh door or whatever and just put it in the glove box i was going to do that to the controls but um i'm not going to uh because i would have to lengthen lengthen the um the wiring harness and that would run up the bill for the the customer so so I just modified the the trim piece that goes around it. So I added the bottom piece and I'm gonna finish my welding up on it. And uh, I added a piece to the top trim. And this will go there like that. And everything will be painted black, you know. So it should blend in okay. It's it's not it's not too bad of a look, but you know I would much rather it go behind the glove box door or in the glove box. But um, it's going to be more accessible, you know, and you can use your controls. The heat works. I haven't put the uh, the AC condenser in yet, so we haven't tried the the air yet. But the air it, it'll work too. I mean, because the blower is working and everything, everything for the heat, so I'm not really worried about the AC working. I'm pretty sure it'll work as long as the compressor is still good. This is the piece out of the truck that I cut out for the, the HVAC controls, the climate controls. This is the piece that was welded, or not welded in, but it was there before I cut it out. It was, um, it was made like that. So, yes, yeah, so I cut it out for the climate control unit. So it's super thin and I spot weld it. And I'm gonna do a lot of spot welds, individual spot welds and try not to, you know, make any holes in it as I weld it. But so be like super careful if you did go to modifying this piece because it's very, very thin. And that's a look from the backside. Is this is a postcard. You can see the thickness of it. And so if you put it right up, let's see if I can get it right up next to that sheet metal, and you can see it's about the thickness of a postcard. It's not very thick, so I'm using a um, a MIG welder. So. Uh, I might go at it with a TIG welder, but for just to tack it in, when it's just me by myself, I like to use a MIG welder so I can just uh, hold it with one hand and tack it with the other. We use we used an S10 rear end. I can't remember from what year model, but it's an S10 rear end that was purchased like 
the truck owner purchased it from Craigslist. So it's a little bit more narrow than the rear end that was in it. And you probably could use the factory rear end from 1950 for these trucks, but they have a torque tube in this. It's hard to, to hook up if you don't have the drive shaft to the, um, it's hard to mate up to the transmission. So we use the transmission from the Silverado also, but so it's got bags on it and um, you can't really see them. And I apologize, I can't get on my lift right now because I have a Honda on my lift, which I need to do the clutch on, but so I want to leave my Honda on the lift until I'm ready, you know, to, until I'm finished with the Honda, but you may be able to see the airbag. Yeah, you can see the airbag. It's almost fully compressed, but um, so yeah, it's it's a pretty narrow rear end, but so we, we tubbed it out a little bit and I haven't made the humps for it yet or the inner, the inner tubs. I haven't put those in yet. The sheet metal so i'm um, probably gonna wait till we order the wheels to get that but we're gonna try to go with a, a 22 by 12 or a 20 by 12 and so we can fill up the fender wells and have a nice lip so we're trying to bring out we're going to keep the back space in the same you know as far as the where this is bolted and the hub is we're going to bring out let this grow 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 so see if we can get us a pretty nice lip to fill up that fender well the front is pretty straightforward all we did was uh he ordered what well, i ordered and the owner paid for it a mustang 2 from cpp a classic performance products and i've made a couple videos well a series of videos on that so You can go look at those if you like. Pretty decent components. I had to do a few modifications to it to get it installed, but it's it's pretty straightforward. And so we just went with an electric fan, and uh, it was it was kind of tricky. In other cars, I can get my electric fan to work on these engines, but I must have done something to this wiring harness. Um, I've done something in the program. I have HP tuners. And so you have to repurpose the, uh, I think it's the HVAC research door, which we're not using. I'm not using the research door on this one, but you have to repurpose that for your fans to control uh, fan one and fan two. It's something like that. I can't remember exactly, but you know, if you're watching this video and you, you know how to solve that problem, yeah, just, um, just send me a comment and try to help me out. But anyway, so we're running electric fans and I'm letting the, um, I was gonna let the computer control it as far as the um, engine coolant temp sensor. But like I said, I couldn't get it to work on this one and I'm not sure why. So we went with a, with the um, thermostat switch. Basically, you know, that's, the, um, the sensing bulb and it senses the temperature, you know, and it has a, your relay in here and you can adjust it, you know, what temp you want to shut on and off by that knob there. So that's how we're doing that. Before I forget the, the AC condenser will go in front of the radiator and the fan and I'll just, I'll wire it in where when the, when the AC is on the, the cooling fan will turn. And these are the lines for it. They're just dangling down. Uh, so yeah, I had to, uh, I had to notch it out right here. And so that line will come up through there once I get it, you know, in place and, uh, and connect to the, the condenser. We just went ahead and bought a, a brand new condenser because there's really no need in trying to use the old, conden the old condenser. But so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So 
if you have any questions or comments, um, just send them to me. And there are a lot of little things on this truck that I had to do. To I reused a lot of parts, modified a lot of things to make them work. And once I'm able to get it on the lift, I'll make another video from underneath. Um, and I'm a, I like to recycle parts, so I had an SRT8 exhaust system that one of my friends had taken off of his um, Jeep SRT8 and put a performance exhaust system on it. So I had the factory exhaust, that's why I used it. So, like I said again, I like to recycle parts and, and that's what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and if you want to see more videos of this truck go ahead and subscribe because i'm gonna post more as we complete it and i'm gonna post some that i haven't really edited and you know put together yet and if like i said if you have anything that'll help me out just um go ahead and and send me a message or whatever and hopefully it'll save me some time because i didn't have a whole lot of resources when I started this project, they're probably more out now, but I didn't have a whole lot of resources. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe.